Hi everyone. Off the fur camp. We've also got someone else out with us today. And she's coming camping. She's like, no, not happening. Yeah, she's having none of it. She's been out for a four mile walk today, so she's shattered. But we're very familiar with this walk, aren't we, Lisa? Yep. We do this every single day. Five. Nearly five miles every day. Probably just short of that, but I'm saying five anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah. round it up. I've got the DD Coyote Brown 3x3 with me and I've got the new Terra Nova Adventure Tarp as well so I think the 3x3 is going over this side and I'm going to be setting up over here. Nearly set up. Um, Lisa's put up her 3x3 DD and what we've done is we've improvised a wee bit and just put a net in um, rather than bring uh, a tent in her. So I've just set up the Terra Nova Adventure 1 tarp. Um, I'll have to have a wee look and find out the details. I think it's about 356 grams. It's got a hydrostatic head of 4,000. And I found it quite tricky to put up. But what I'm really excited about is this. Now, I was gifted this by the Icebox music venue in Glasgow and I've been desperate to get it out. This is a Scandinavian make. I'm a huge fan of Scandinavian products, um, probably a wee bit biased. And uh, this make is Anjunilak. I think it was Mammut, or I'm not sure how you pronounce it. They took over the brand. I think they've collaborated with Carrymore as well. Um, but as I say, a huge fan of Scandinavian products and um, I'm so excited to try it. The only problem is I don't know the temperature rating. I have no idea. Because this is a much older um, sleeping bag, I can't find any information like on it at the moment. So looking at it, I'm going to reckon, I'm going to take a guess and say that it's a comfort rating of about 10. It's going to get well, you okay? It's going to get down to about 8 tonight. Um, but what I do have with me is my C2 Summit Thermalite liner, and that can take um, the temperature rating down, I think, by about 8 degrees. Whether or not that will work or not, I don't know. And I've also brought the Rab Survival Bivy, I love this, it's fantastic. So I'm kind of hoping the combination of the three will get me through the night without being too cold. <laughs> Lisa's looking at me like, no, <laughs> you're going to be freezing. But I'm up for a challenge. We'll see how we go. I'm trying to, do you know, I'm just thinking with the Terra Nova, the size of it. I think it's 1.4 metres by 2.4, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll have a wee look and... Um, I'll confirm that but I really I really love it already and I think it's going to be so versatile it's great for this but I can imagine it would be really good for going over a, a tent as well um, just to use as extra protection Willow is going in with Lisa <laughs> she she likes her comfort does Willow so um, I'm going to put her yeah I'm going to put you in with Lisa I've just pulled the, the sleeping bag out to have a wee look um, I reckon that's definitely a two-season sleeping bag. It's the Anjunilak Dolly. As I say, I can't really find any information on it. So that's my sleep system set up. I've just closed over the bivvy bag just now so that hopefully no beasties get in. 
Not that I mind beasties, but don't really want them crawling about my my sleep system. So. <laughs> A frog in my tarp. <laughs> well, it's a toad. It was a toad. It wasn't a frog. I did try and uh, change that so that, it, but oh, I forgot. <laughs> and that's the DD. That's not the super light. Um, I'm not sure if I said that earlier on. The super lights are, are good, but I actually prefer just the normal DD tarps for doing kind of tent configurations rather than. The, the super light one, I find this a bit more sturdier. Um, I'll need to hang the net up a bit better for Lisa. She's got her Rabiscent 700 with their uh, great bags. Temperature rating down to minus five. Um, as I say, it's going to get to about eight tonight, so Lisa will be nice and warm. You alright there, Lisa? Yeah, Jordan lent me this so I could easily cut wood. So that we can just pick up whatever's laying around. Yeah, it's certainly um, more compact than my samurai. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like a silky. We're going to get our dinner on. Um, and I brought my favourite camping item with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely love like vintage stuff. This is my Hungarian mess tin and I love it. And that's what we're cooking in tonight. Excellent. With the that. tripod. <laughs> need to be like a luminous or something for me to spot it. See that's why I like, that's actually, I'm the opposite, I love it because it's, I'm very much a green and brown girl. <laughs> Even my tents, I know you want a pink tent. <laughs> Any suggestions for pink tents? Lisa's desperate for one. I thought Ali had one. Turns <laughs> out it's red. No, it's red. <laughs> We're going to have a kind of Nordic fish broth. Um, I've managed to get a hold of some wolf fish, which is quite a sweet fish. Um, it's going to be a little bit like a cullen skink, which is the Scottish version. That's using cream. Um, I'm not going to use cream in it today. I, I like it fish a wee bit. Um. <laughs> not too. It's not laughing. I think it's not laughing. Um, Your chopping board. Yeah, you should see the size of the other one. <laughs> That's the big one. So we'll get carrots, celeriac broccoli, onion, that's going in with fresh dill and parsley. New potatoes. I'm going to do the potatoes separate. I'll put them in the other pot because they start to go mushy if you don't. Yep. And then the fish goes in right at the end. This is um, some of the wolf fish, and as you can see, someone is desperate to get some. <laughs> We've made a salmon and a dill sauce. Um, there's homemade sauerkraut. Lisa said no, but it's um, fermented cabbage, apple. I've put fennel and caraway seeds in as well. So that's been fermenting for about three weeks. I Underneath, the sauerkraut, there's a wolf fish broth. Mm. Um, oh, do you like the wolf fish broth? <laughs> I do, and I'm not a fish fan. No, Lisa is not a fish fan, so that's a good sign. Hello? Did you enjoy the salmon? Were you hungry? Did you enjoy it? Is it good? How are you getting on at uni? Getting there. One thing left to do, one major thing left to do, but... <laughs> I'm looking forward to being finished. I bet you are. Well, it's been a long time coming. What idiot goes for all of that moaning all the way along and then, oh, let's sign up for a master's. Yeah, this idiot. <laughs> It'll be good when it's done. I know. I'm not going to be one of those where it's constant education, education, education. There is an end date. That's me. Can't be dealing with it. Shouldn't have gone in the first place. Not yeah, you should have. You absolutely should have. Get in there. Nearly done. I'm not working tomorrow. Alright. What have you got planned? I think we should try a mineral. Alright, which one? <laughs> the nearest one. Fancy it.
Yeah, I did. <laughs> we struggled with Chronic Hill. <laughs> I struggled with that one. I thought Chronic Hill was bad. I know, but to be not... fair, we never got there till six o'clock. Well, the difference not. is, if you're not carrying a 65 litre filled rucksack, then it's it's probably a lot easier. Definitely. Want to? Yeah, let's we'll do it, it tomorrow. Get up tomorrow morning and just do it. I think you'll enjoy it. I think I will. I'm not a morning person. I'm always up super early. This is the opposite. Yeah, the dog kept waking me up, licking my face. <laughs> the deers were really loud last night. They were really close by. Yeah. I was waiting to get squashed. <laughs> Stampede. Stampede, that's what I was thinking. Oh. Having a cup of tea. How'd you sleep? I'm so stiff. <laughs> I don't know how I've slept. I'm like, what is going on? I'm like an old lady. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to my bed later. <laughs> I slept okay, but um, I just didn't change into my thermals last night, so that's where the problems were. Yeah, cold spots uh, to do with the clothing. Yeah. But the sleeping bag did really, really well. I wasn't cold because of the sleeping bag. So I'm really happy because it means that for the kind of summer season, I know I can, can probably get away with that one. Possibly still need the liner. Some it's, it's quite cold this morning. Oh, that's a good start to the morning. Yeah. So after we've had this, we're going to pack away and then we're going to go and climb. Is it? <laughs> Lisa's, Lisa's ecstatic. She's waiting for it. <laughs> Uh, ben Du. Ben who? <laughs> <laughs> Ben, are we? <laughs> so what we'll do is, we'll pack away and we'll take you up a big hill. Mm. You touch the summit. If you saw the last one at Coric Hill. <laughs> it's full of false summits, just so you know. False summits. Um, so be, if nothing else, it'll be worth a laugh. <laughs> This is us in Luss. Um, it's a very nice, pretty village, and we're about to climb Bendu. It's probably quite a good one to to start off with. I think it might be good for kids. Lisa's not so sure. No, You've done this well, before, haven't you? It depends on your kids. I've got lazy kids. My kids will not climb that hill. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've came prepared. I brought my gaiters. Don't know if you can see them. I don't have my gaiters. All right, I'm winging it. I don't need them. You don't need them. <laughs> Well, we'll soon see if you do need them or not. Looks like there's some lovely spots down there for camping, possibly. Yeah, there's Conic Hill over there. See it? it looks, so looks tiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, there's. I think there's probably loads of camping spots, but because of the permit zone, I think that runs from the beginning of March to the end of September. All right. <laughs> Man down!
about for the day? Well, it was bound to happen, weren't it? <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I should have took my gaiters. Lesson learned. <laughs> uh, you'll know for next time. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm not in a rush to do it again. It's exhausting. But, I mean, it's good. It's good exercise. I feel good afterwards. But I'm knackered now. I need a, a shower. It is tiring doing it. But... Yeah. Right. <clears throat> we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Bye.